Hello, type to us here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to group objects in PowerPoint. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Today's video is sponsored by iSpring Solutions. iSpring Suite is an easy to use PowerPoint based toolkit that you can use to create interactive courses, quizzes, role plays, screencasts, and other interactive learning materials. The toolkit offers a lot of different features to create awesome looking courses, like the content library with ready-made slide templates that can easily be customized. You also have access to thousands of character photos, locations, objects, and even icons. With iSpring Suite, you can create interactive assessments with the quiz tool which offers 14 ready-made question templates to choose from. Create high-quality screencasts with the screen recorder tool to record voiceovers and webcam video. And you also have access to the video editing tool to trim, edit and add effects and graphics to your video. The toolkit also offers text-to-speech, which you can use to create professional voiceovers in over 40 different languages. And there is the interactive roleplay feature that can be used to create scenario-based conversations. And that's just some of all of the features iSpring Suite offers. iSpring Suite is very easy to use and all you need to get started is just PowerPoint. So if you want to create interactive courses and e-learning material, this is the solution for you. You can try a 14 days free trial on iSpring Suite by clicking the link down in the description. Let's get back to the tutorial. As you can see, I created a new PowerPoint presentation and I've created this slide with some different objects. Let's say we actually want to group these four circles. We can actually do that in a really simple way. So to actually group objects, you first want to select the objects you would like to group. So let's say I want to group all of these four circles. We can just select them all by just dragging over them and let go. And as you can see, they are now all selected. So just go over to one of the circles and right click. And you will get all of these options. And from here you want to choose group and group. And as you can see, we are now getting this line over all of the objects. So if we now try to move one of the circles, we can see that all of the objects are now grouped together. If you want to do this a bit faster, you can also select the objects again and actually just use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl G. And that does the exact same by grouping the objects. If you want to ungroup objects, that is also an option. So to do that, do the same by standing on one of the objects then right click, choose group again, and go down to ungroup. And as you can see, they are not grouped together anymore. The keyboard shortcut for that is Control shift g and that does the exact same. So yeah, that is actually how to group objects in PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.